Uh, the breaking news was that the Broncos have cut Randy Gregory. That's shocking. So Randy Gregory is Randy no longer Gregory, a member of the Denver Broncos. He's two years into a deal, making big money, and he's going to be a commodity on the open market here. I mean, he really is. But I wonder what happened there. I'm guessing it's playing time. The team wants to focus on young players. Exactly, because they got some dudes, right? And I want to pull up their team here so for a second. But Cooper. He's, he signed a five-year, $70 uh -huh, million dollar uh -huh. contract earlier this year. Two years ago, right? Well, I mean, last says, year was his first year of his deal, right? Schefter says in 2023. I think he's mistyping that, uh -oh. right? That was, last, that was 2022. He was on the Broncos last year. Um, but but maybe he, he just was. but yeah, maybe so, just resigned so it this Schefter, off season. Sure, so maybe if, they did a renegotiation maybe there. Maybe like there was something there. I don't know. Uh, either weird. way, the point is that, that I would think that they still owe him a lot of money. So that's a big deal that they're cutting him. They can say they want to focus on young players. I'm sure they wanted to start some of their young players. I get that because I will say this: Cooper, uh, number zero, is the real deal. Nick Benito. The kid that we talked about, he was a top five pass rusher coming out of Oklahoma for us two years ago in the yeah, draft. Yeah. He's the real deal. So they got some dudes on the edge that um, can get after the quarterback. And I think they can get after the quarterback in a better capacity than Randy Gregory is. And I'm sure that they were playing them more. And he was disappointed about that and complaining. And they finally just said, hey, screw it. You know, it's the old, you know, we, we want volunteers, not hostages. And they got rid of them. All right, so so some shocking breaking news. As they got to be careful. Work. He's got to be careful there right now. Yeah. You know, he's got the locker room's got to be a little bit like, what's this all about with Sean Payton? Is he as good as they say? All that. So he's trying to make sure he gets this culture the right way, and he doesn't want to have a a veteran making a lot of money talking shit about him and the coaching staff in the locker room. So yeah. that that's what it looks like to me. And again, I have no inside info there. I'm just you know kind of reacting to the news sean's way or the highway yo yo what up homies thanks for watching remember subscribe to chris sims on button right now we got sunday pod right so you can have it monday morning we recap all the action wednesday it's the what the f happen podcast we're gonna get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week and then thursday i'm picking games with that jerk florio so you know where to find us homies keep watching peace out we'll see you